and welcome to a special bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where we're going to get back to doing just that, Cracking the Cryptic. And this is the cryptic crossword from the 31st of December today. Uh, it's by Morph, and it's been recommended to me by the independent crossword editor, Mike Hutchinson. And the reason is that apparently every clue in this puzzle references a real thing that happened during 2020. Um, so I'm sure we're all quite keen to see the back of 2020, but this will be a nice reminder, hopefully to, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not sure what the reminders will be of, but we shall, we shall try and do it. And it's certainly a very clever feat of crossword setting, if indeed all these clues do reference real events. So with that, let's get cracking and see how we do it. So having special leave to pick up consignment of mink, perhaps, well, I, I think this is referring to, is it the Danes who found COVID in their mink? Um, but I don't know the answer to that. Let's look at the next one. Noisy bunch, completely swamping host in virtual meter. Ah, well, I don't know if this is what this is about, but I do remember there was some interview on television with an expert in something and the children kept trying to get in on the experts <laughs> Zoom meeting. So... In fact, noisy bunch could be zoo, couldn't it? Complete zoom call is the answer. A noisy bunch is a zoo, completely is all, and that zoo all is swamping a host, which is an MC, a master of ceremonies, and that, and a virtual meeting is a zoom call. That's very clever. So zoom, ah, it's, ah it goes across the grid down to the bottom. Look, zoom call. Um, yeah, and I can't, and I think there was like a Filipino nanny or something trying to control the kids and not doing a very good job, but it was very funny. Anyway, if, if, if that's not right, that's what I'm thinking that's about. Let's look at what, uh, seven down. Part of EU North splintered. Well, this is clearly a Brexit reference, I think. Part of EU North splintered. It looks like an anagram. Um... Oh, yes. Well, of EU North is the right number of letters. So maybe one something. One fourth is the answer. Part, as in a fraction, would be a fourth. And it's just an anagram of, of EU North there. Doesn't seem to give us many good letters. Let's look at eight down. Saying a team must keep two metres apart. Okay. This is referring presumably to social distancing in a sporting context so the the answer is maxim because that's a saying a team is an 11 now 11 in roman numerals is xi and we've got a x i keeping two m's apart um for the answer so that this 13 across now ending in m spill the beans Many pupils have not been here much this year. Okay, inform. If you inform on someone, you tell on them. And many pupils this year have obviously been off school and therefore not in their forms. Oh, this is funny. X. Media's fake news for all to see after Michigan vote. Okay, well, this is referencing the US election. Media's fake news. For all to see will be an abbreviation of U, because if you see a U on a film certificate, it means universal, which means everyone can see it. After Misha, vote could be X. Oh, is this something like milieu, milieu or something? I never know how to say that word, actually. Let's write it in and see if it's right. Um, I-E-U-X media could be milieu. <laughs> uh, fake news is a lie. Okay, lie plus U. After Michigan, the abbreviation for Michigan is MI, and then X at the end. That's how that's put together. That's a clever clue as well, isn't it? Nine down. Families heading for Christmas on computer network. Well, yes, that was probably necessary for us to see all our families this Christmas. Uh, heading for Christmas, that's the head letter of the word Christmas. That's a C. A computer network, you might have heard of a LAN network, local area network. Put all that together, you get clan, which is families. A group of families would be a clan. Five down with an M in it. Award ceremony. 
insiders mass virtually in the end. So is this a reference to the fact that the Oscars were held virtually this year? Award ceremony, insiders, mass virtually, Emmy? An Emmy is an award. Cer yeah, okay, ceremony insiders is the E and the M, those inside letters of the word ceremony, or the most inside letters. Mass is just M, that's this M. Virtually in the end is the end letter of the word virtually, and that creates Emmy, which is, I think, the answer. Um, I don't really know what this one was, so maybe have a look at one down instead. How the US voted encompasses Donald's number one taboo, another US election reference. How the US voted Democrat encompasses Donald's number one. Donald's number one will be the D, the first letter from Donald. Taboo. Oh, forbidden. For Biden. That's very clever. How the US voted, they voted for Biden. And that encompasses an extra D, the starting letter of Donald. And a if something is taboo, it's forbidden. Uh, let's go back to the mink one. Having special leave to pick up consignment of mink. Ah, this is, a, well, this is another very uh, topical word, isn't it? It's furloughed. Having special, if, you, if you're having special leave, you are furloughed from your job. And to pick up is saying it's a homophone. If you pick something up, you hear it. And if we say f a fur load, if you had a fur load, L-O-A-D, then you might have a consignment of mink. That's beautiful. So fur load is the answer. Two down. Accomplish rupture with British withdrawing. Another Brexit reference. It's a word for rupture without B, presumably. Accomplish. Reach. Breach. Yeah. Breach means uh, it's, it's a rupture. Get the B to withdraw from it. You get reach, which is if you reach a goal, you accomplish a goal. Uh, let's try three down. Johnson's deal was so half... Well, Johnson's deal was so half-baked. Yeah, Boris Johnson promised that the, his deal with the EU was oven-ready, famously. Um, and so I think if something's half-baked, it's oven-ready. Um, and that's the answer to that one. It's all getting quite political today. Observe Harding latterly in the ascendant prosper. Harding. I'm not sure I know many celebrities or famous people called Harding. Matthew Harding was used to run or own Chelsea, I think. Sarah Harding from Girls Aloud. Harding. Harding. Observe. Harding latterly. Harding latterly will be the G, so that'll be the end letter of Harding. In the ascendant. Prosper is get on. Okay, well, I can do the clue. I'm just not sure I know the... Observe Harding. Dido Harding. Isn't she... Something to do with the medical profession? I think... Or was she in charge of boundary reform? Oh, Dido Harding. I'm not sure. I think it's a reference to Dido Harding. And I'm showing my media ignorance here by not knowing it. But observe is note. G, the final letter of Harding. Reverse all that. It's in the ascendant. So it's a down clue. So we turn it upside down. And if you get on, you prosper. So the answer to this clue should be able to write it in from the letters. I can't actually see what it is. Oh, reagent, substance used in a test. Okay, substance used in test. Run on key worker. Run. Or maybe it's substance used in test run. And on is re. Key. Worker. Is a key work, is a genta worker? Or is, it a key, is a key worker an agent? I'm not sure. Key, you see, could be a musical key. It could be the, the key of A, followed by gent for worker. Or it could be key worker, agent. I'm not sure what the preferred passing of that clue is. Um, 
close to Johnson, hire misfits in government standing firm. Another reference to the Conservative government here in the UK. So close to Johnson is going to be the closing letter of the word Johnson. That's an N. Hire misfits. Is that an anagram? Looks like it might be. In government. In hearing? Ooh. That's not a word I know. I know inherent is is in. I don't even actually have to say I know what in hearing means. Hopefully it means standing firm. Could do actually. So how does it work? Well, it's the final letter of the word Johnson and higher misfitted. So they are anagrammed, followed by in I at just plain, followed by G for government in hearing. Might be wrong that, you know. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's move on. Order wear valid ma order wear valid mask. Okay, well clearly a reference to the COVID situation. It looks like an anagram of wear valid because we have to order those letters and it'll mean mask and the answer veil probably is in there somewhere. Draw draw a veil. That would be a correct anagram, I think. Uh, let's look at 14 down with an L in it. Supermarket covered by social distancing. Well, ah, this is clever. Look, inside the words social distancing, you can see spelt out in order A-L-D-I, which is Aldi, which is a supermarket. At least it is here in the UK. I don't know whether it exists overseas. Um, brew teas, looks like an anagram of teas. What one does to help when out. What one does to help when out. Brew teas. Well, maybe eats. Brew teas. What one does to help one eats out. I'm not sure I understand that. I think. Can I see another anagram? Eaters, the, the Greek letters. No, that doesn't seem to. That's another one I'm not too sure about, I'm afraid. Let's hope it's not wrong. We will find out. Hopefully we'll look at the crossing letters. Unknown, heads of test and trace, member of ruling party backed. Lousy. Lousy, nasty, maybe. Unknown. Heads of test and trace will be T and T. So uh, we probably have to put T and T in here then. So they're going to have to go in those two positions. So natty, nutty, nitty. Oh, nitty. Nitty could be lousy. Un uh, unknown is Y, as in an unknown in algebra. X's and Y's and those sorts of things. T and T, member of ruling party is an in god that's difficult reverse that reverse all of that you get nitty which is lousy which i think is the right answer 16 down drug variant developed with involvement of international labs primarily antiviral okay so variant developed is saying anagram the word variant with the involvement of i and l for the primary letters of international and labs and I think if we do that we can make antiviral which I do recognize as a type of drug um, 22 across plant container outside four seasons finally serves as turning point ah now this is referencing the US election again now I'm not going to remember this but I think it was somewhere like Detroit that Donald Trump was Donald Trump meant to meet at the Four Seasons or have a rally at the Four Seasons Hotel? And it ended up being at the Four Seasons Garden Centre or something. I, uh, I'm not sure. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. But how does the clue work? What's the answer? Plant container. Ah, no, I've got this. It's pivots. A plant container is a pot. And that goes outside four. Well, the Roman numeral for four is IV. So if we put pots or pot outside IV, we get pivot. And then we add seasons finally. That's the final letter of the word seasons. And we get pivots, which means serves as turning point. 22 down, beginning with P. It's probably... Well, I think panic is more likely than pubic. Let's see. An irrational... 
an irrational reaction to COVID-19 panic, say not down. Ah, an, an irrational reaction is a panic. COVID-19, say, is an example of a pandemic. If you take out DEM, which is a valid abbreviation for Democrat or Democratic, from pandemic, you get panic. That's a nice clue, even if the subject is rather unpleasant. Um, recount North America's speed of virus transmission. Ah, lovely. <laughs> Again, an unpleasant subject, but the answer is narrate. If you recount something, you narrate it. North America, N-A. The speed of virus transmission is the R rate, the reproduction rate. And that's actually being used in the wordplay here, which I've never seen before. I think that will become quite a staple in, in um, future times. Duck, ramp <laughs> Duck rampaging Patel blowing top is a reference to the British Home Secretary Pretty Patel, who's been subject to bullying charges. I'm found, I think found guilty of bullying charges um, by a, an investigation. Um, so ah, this is it's very good. It's a very good way of cluing this. Duck is the definition here. So we're looking for a type of duck. Rampaging Patel without the top letter, the first letter. So it's an anagram of a tell, which means it's teal, which is a type of duck. Um, yeah, and it's the surface is absolutely perfect. <laughs> sort of brings to mind a very angry Home Secretary swinging her fists. Um, give up once Democrats got in. Another US election. Ah, OK. So if you give up something, you seed it. So why is seed the right answer? Well, if you look in the inside the letters of once Democrat, you can see C-E-D-E -E spelt out. So the letters of once Democrat have got in them the answer, seed. Now that looks tempting, doesn't it? For 21 across, loser full of ego short of 50, short of 50% used to celebrate victory. Try triumph, triumphful, try. Oh gosh, okay, so loser is Trump here. Full of ego. Ego is I, because it's the self. So it's triumph. Short, ah, short of 50%. Yes, yeah, so 50% is half. So short of 50% is just H A L. It's missing its F. And triumphal is something, if something's used to celebrate victory, it's triumphal. That's a clever clue again, isn't it? Um, 18 across. Play Little Richard. Oh, did Little Richard die in the year? Or was it Jerry Lee Lou? Oh, I might be doing Little Richard a disservice here. Something must have happened to Little Richard in 2020. Um, play Little Richard. Little Richard will be Rick, won't it? R-I-C. Classic. Play. Do? If you do something, do you play it? Doric? I mean, Doric is certainly a style of classical architecture. Um, hmm, not sure about that. We'll see if we get if the checking letters make sense. A 18 down. Ah, this must be a reference to Dominic Cummings. Legally resident. Oh, that could be domi domiciled, maybe. Cummings, not in. So, yeah, OK, so Cummings, Dominic Cummings without in, if we spell Dominic without the word in, dom, we miss out the middle bit. So it's Dominic lied outrageously is an anagram of lied. And that if we do that, we can create domiciled, which means legally, re, um, legally resident. That's a, yeah, it's a clever clue, a reference, I think, to Dominic Cummings and his infamous trip to um, a castle in the north of England um, when he was meant to be on lockdown. Um, so 19 down. Colston is toppled. Such people promoted imperialism. Well, this is a reference. Oh, I don't know which city it was in, but they protesters tore down a statue. I think his name was Andrew Colston. And he was guilty. Oh, was it Bristol? I think it might have been in Bristol. I think he was he was 
connected or had owned slaves. Such people. So it's an anagram of Colston is Col colonists. Okay. Such people had promoted imperialism. Well, they would be colonists. That's a very appropriate anagram, isn't it? That Colston is is an anagram of colonists. Wow. Um, another clever clue referencing a very topical event. 24 across. One handling stock. So I wanted to put stock man in there, but that's a bit self-referential. Finding glimmer of hope in new mRNA vaccine cutting odds. OK, so. So we need to cut the odd letters out of some portion of this clue. So we need the even letters. E, M, maybe. I'm not sure what that is, actually. Um, we'll come back to that one. Let's look at 20, 31 across. Supporting pubs in lockdown. Ah, I can do that one. Right. So if you're in lockdown, you are behind bars. And how does the wordplay work? Well, if you're supporting something, you're behind it pubs are bars so that's how it works you put those together you get behind bars now beginning or ending in i should be doable leaders in america and belarus are cheating in counting methods a well the leaders in america and belarus are a and b not q and b a and b abakai yeah counting methods the plural of abacus is abakai all right, so it's just leaders in all of these words. It's it's America, Belarus, are cheating and in. If you take the first letters of all of those, you get abakai, which are counting methods. Now, 29 suggests Matt in the main is heading in the wrong direction. Oh, golly. I don't know what that is. It's in the main suggests it's something to do with the ocean. So somebody called Matt went in the wrong direction probably in a shipping race or a rowing race. Matthew Pinsent? Oh, I'm not sure what that is. OK, and I don't actually know what the answer is either. Suggests, alludes. Ah, Matt. Ah, that's, a, I tell you, that clue is very clever again in terms of its surface because look how the, look how the actual cryptic clue works. Matte is a word that can mean dull. It's in, if, if paint is matte, it's dull coloured. You can see dull reversed in C here, S-E-A. So in the main, that's C. It just suggests, alludes, matte in. Yeah, so you put the word for matte, which is dull, in the word for the main, which is C, and you head it all in the wrong direction, you reverse it all, and you get the word alludes, which means suggests. Very clever. 26 down, I'm going to guess it's India or Hydra. Marcus's lead or led on issue in the end, raised support in press. Well, this is a reference to the Manchester United footballer Marcus Rashford. Marcus's lead, that would be M, I think on issue in the end. Oh, it's media. Okay. M, the final letter of the word issue is E. Raised support. If you aid someone, you support them. It's a down clue. So if we raise the word aid, we get DIA. Put that together. Media and press, etc. is the media. So we're just left, I think, with 24 across. One, oh, ranch man would be a somebody who handles stock. Why is that the answer? Finding glimmer of hope. Let's put ranch man in and see whether ranch man. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Solve without help 99%. What are you talking about? I haven't had any help. Have I made a mistake? Ah, go back. I want to see the puzzle again. Play again. Ah, it's totally gone wrong. Um... Sorry about this. How can I bring the puzzle back? Solve again. I hope it's remembered that I've actually solved it. We probably have to all watch an advert together now. And I've got to remember that ranch man clue. So a glimmer of hope. I think that might be the letter H. A glimmer of the word hope. I'm so sorry about this. Go away. 
advert for flu medicine. <laughs> oh, it's nearly over. Thank goodness. Play. Oh, it's bad. Thank goodness. It somehow saved it. So 24 across. One handling stock. Finding glimmer of hope. H. Oh, and new mRNA. So it's got mRNA in it. Oh, and vaccine. If we cut the odd letters from the word vaccine, we just take the even letters, which are A, C and N. So I think this is an anagram of mRNA, A, C and N with an H in the middle. And that gives you ranchman. Now, why does it say I needed help here? What did it think it helped me with? I have no idea. Um, have I filled in all the clues? I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a mystery. <laughs> but Morph, I very much enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me solve it. Let me know in the comments which, which um, news stories I've got wrong there. I suspect there are several. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed running through this puzzle. And a Happy New Year to all of you. Of course, let's hope 2021 is a rather better year than 2020 has been. And yeah, I wish you and your families and friends, obviously, a happy and healthy 2021.